welcome back to the next episode they said they are with him they are resting on Jungkook's shoulder and Jungkook said Rantian's waist looking at the blue surprisingly the silence between them feels so comfortable like they have been have known for ages occasionally a cold breeze touching their skin making their body severe and Jungkook grabbed her and around him and are you cold? Jungkook asked as Thayang Sivir one more time. Thayang nodded his head no, but Sivir again. When a cold breeze touched his skin, he was wearing a plain black t-shirt and which is and Jungkook is wearing some formal pants with the short sleeve, sleeve, sleeves rolled up and a jacket upon it. I told you already you should always be honest with everything I ask baby little things like this too Jango told uh, taking his jacket off and putting it on Thang's shoulder and they shifted onto their old sitting position can, can I ask you something Thang asked by clenching Jango's jacket around him tightly like everything may disappear once they lose the grip on the jacket you can ask me anything, baby. Jungkook encouraged the kissing his forehead lightly, which makes the young smile again. Why me? The young let out the question, bugging the young from the second. Jungkook confessed his feelings. Jungkook took a deep breath before he replied to the young, Baby, do you want me to be honest? Jungkook asked cousinly. The young is taken aback for a second, but he thought it would be better to know the truth rather than get so Thayang nodded, okay, let me put it like this, I never felt anything to any person I met until I met you, but don't think it's because of we slept together because it's not only what we did, I have this strange kind of feeling towards you, like I wanna hold you, kiss you, take care of you, make people know that you are mine and so many more i have never slept with anyone else not even if i was too hard to control myself but i couldn't control myself with you jungle explained his feelings are you sure it's um love thing as he doesn't want when i get false hopes and don't get hurt when jungle realizes it's not love I don't know what love is, if it's not what I feel, Jungkook clenched at himself, I can feel it, Jungkook said a little seriously, Thayang nodded in understanding, can I trust you, Thayang asked the next question, shocking Jungkook, Jungkook was a little taken aback by that question, baby look at me, Jungkook made Thayang look into his eyes, holding Thayang's face, his hands, Thayang Look at it straight into his eyes, searching answer for his questions. Jungkook take his right hand from Thang's cheek and hold Thang's palm, bringing it to his heart. Thang felt butterflies from the heart with the is feeling on his palm. You can trust me, people say heart never lies. So, why don't you ask yourself? Jungkook pressed Thang's hand onto his chest, heartbeat, I can feel it baby, you are the one for me, Jungkook told him with Thang's hand still on his heart, I trust you, please don't hurt me, Thang pleaded looking into Jungkook's eyes, I will never, I just need your trust, thanks for it, Jungkook smiled making Thang smile and return his smile, staring into each other's eyes, forgetting everything. Jango was trying so hard not to attack the with kisses, but the thing he doesn't know is the is thing is waiting for Jango to kiss him like that. They shifted their look to the view again. So is this why you searching for me so desperately? Thing was breaking the silence. Yeah, I guess. Jungkook replied, What if you did not find me? Thayang asked, 
foolishly i would find you anyway jungkook said like it was a matter of fact i was saying i'm saying what if i run away from you again thing ask again even though he was he has no plan to do so jungkook narrowed his eyes at the hungerly thing thing was most fascinated by that look if you are implying me about something like running away then you should change your plan because i'm not letting you go in this lifetime jungkook won't Silly Jungkook is so hot. Oh my! What wrong with me? I am so people should have scared to death by that look. For now, how can I find it hot? Something is wrong with me. Did you get it? Jungkook demanded with demanding tone. Yes, that's freaking hot. Good. Jungkook smile getting back from that dark look to normal in a second and brought the closure how did he do that they thought thank you thank mumble huh? Jungkook raised his eyebrows at them no one took care of me like this before thank mumble happily you should get used to it because it's only the beginning Jungkook winked god stop doing that what did i do to get a man like janko to fall for me so you are a second year medical student right janko changed the topic then gripped grinned happily as janko mentioned it i love to study it the thing said making janko smile and pick his forehead then was shocked for a second he stopped smiling and he stuck in the position Stop surprising every time I kiss you. Then Jungkook clenched again, which Cook was doing a lot today. Then hide his face in Jungkook's neck to hide the blush. He felt Jungkook's body shake from laughing. After staying like that for a, for some minutes, they finally decided to go back. Jungkook stood up and took Thang's hand, making him stand up. Jungkook adjusted. He jacked on Thang's shoulder and took his hand to walk, but he stopped it when he noticed Thang's shoulder was undone. Oh, let me! Thang was about to bend down, but Jungkook catches his shoulder. I will do it. Jungkook did not offer. He just told Thang that he is gonna do it. Anjay, please, this is so hard to control my heart every time Jungkook do things like this. Jungkook bent down and tied the shoelaces for them. You should make sure to tie them every time. If not, you will trip. I am not looking forward to you getting hurt by falling on the ground. Jungkook spoke, standing up. Thang did not wait for a second and kissed Jungkook's cheek. Thank you. Thang mumbled and ran to the car before Jungkook could react. Jungkook shook his head while smiling and walking walk behind Thang and locked the car for Thang to get in the ride was silent Jungkook let Thang choose his favorite song to play in the car so what are your plans for today Jungkook asked lowering his volume of the song um i have classes in the afternoon and i will work at the bookshop in the evening thang said remembering his plan for today so what do you want to do next jungkook asked let thang think i need to go back and grab my backpack before going to uni oh you are leaving me already jungkook said no i mean i have important classes today thang said hanging his head low it's okay baby i will pick you up after your work at the bookshop jungkook said and thang nodded thang is not surprised about as jungkook knows everything about his study and workplace he is the mafia boss for god's sake they reached thang condo within some minutes thank you thang mumbled and leaned forward to kiss jungkook's cheek as jungkook was still looking in the front seat but jungkook turned to thang's side and the second thang's lips was going to touch his cheek making thang's lips touch jungkook's lips thang quickly pulled back jumping backward with wide eyes closing his mouth with 
Hopes once again. There is no teasing. This time it was a sweet and lovely kiss, which made the young melt into the kiss. The young closed his eyes, enjoying everything Jungkook is doing to him. Jungkook pulled back after some time, some seconds. Jungkook spoke. Minho said from other side, making Jungkook frown and drunk in his eyes in anger. What the heck? I'm I'm coming. Jungkook shouted in anger before hanging up and started the engine. Thang was jump, walking to his condo, smiling to himself like a teenager girl who just had had her first date. He reached the condo and patted his pocket for keys, but there is no key. He left it in the backpack. Silly, he left the bag in Jungkook's car. Thang hit his forehead. Door opens. Thang shifted his look to next door, which belongs to Jimin. As he opens the door, it's Jimin. Eyes red, his face looked tired. Hair stuck. In different direction, wearing the same clothes from yesterday, Jimin looked like he was crying for a long time. Jimin Hyung, what wrong? What happened? They have asked in shock, moving to Jimin's direction, who is still still standing at the door. Jimin started crying again. They have quickly hugged him to comfort him, but Jimin is crying more and more. I lost him. Jimin cried, holding his little brother. Jungkook speed off his car through the road, shaking in anger. He reached his office within 15 minutes. Jungkook didn't even bother to park the car. He just jumped out of the car, raced in the engine. He walked into his office and, with anger showing evident on his face, by the time Jungkook entered the office, he saw Yoongi and Hobi sitting on the couch with Yoongi wrapping. So soon, Yogi went to the underground with Minho. Said, "With Hobi, what the heck is this?" Jungkook started making Minho and Hobi look up at Jungkook. Minho rolled his eyes at Jungkook and looked at Hobi's bandage. Ah, stop, please! Jungkook heard sound from the underground. Yogi turned to kill him. He is the only one who is alive. Minho shouted behind Jungkook. Then Jungkook stopped. When Jungkook reached the underground, he saw a man with his hand locked in a chain, hanging from the roof, legs hanging down, barely touching the ground. His head hung low. His face was covered with red liquid. There, Jungkook saw Yoongi with a cigarette in his left hand and a steel bar in his right hand, covered with the red liquid of the man hanging in. Of Yoongi, Yoongi tossed the cigarette on the ground by taking it for the last time and crushing it under his shoe. Yoongi looked up at the man. He boiled, blood boiled in anger as he lifted the steel bar upwards and smashed it. Ah! Yoongi smiled when he heard the cry of the man. Please, the man begged. When Yoongi lifted the bar once again, you should have known, known better before deciding to touch my love. Yoongi shouted on that man's face, clen- clenching his hair. That man went in pain.
Oh yeah, please stop. Jungkook Kanger was reduced as he saw Yoongi is dealing with that man in the way he wished Jungkook knew Yoongi's love for Hobi. They just not confess it yet. Jungkook smirked at the man standing at the door, crossing his arm before he chased. Uh, the man looked up at to find, find Jungkook standing there with the smirk. He mumbled in fear, fear of death clear in his face. Young stopped looking back when he heard the word Mafia Boss. Young gave a nod to Jungkook with a nine smile. Jungkook walked to the man clearly enjoying the fear in his face. Please don't kill me. That man begged Mafia Boss. Shut up, Jungkook said to the man and look at Yungi how many of them are killed. Jungkook asked and lay, leaning back at the walls, stiffing his hand in the pant pocket and foot attached to the wall to support. Fifteen of them attacked Minho and me as we were coming back in a cab. So he got hurt by these figures, Young explained. Don't tell me you let that freak escape who hurt Hobi. Jungkook asked anger evident in his tone. Nah, I killed him. Jungkook, how can I let him escape? He hurt my Hobi. Young assured and whispered the last part. Cool. Jungkook mumbled, shifting his gaze at the man who sent you. Jungkook asked calmly. Will you leave me if I save? That man asked, gaining all the strength he has. What the freak? You think you are in a position to make a deal? Mafia was just tell me. I will finish him. Yungi shouted. Yeah, only if you say the truth. Jungkook spoke calmly. Ha! Ah, that man laughed out of nowhere. What do you... What do I look like? Do you think I believe you? That man asked, no longer scared of his life, speaking in a daring tone which Mafia boss hates the most. So, are you asking for it? Jungkook said, rolling his sleeve off and crunching his fist. Without giving another second to that man, Jungkook fist hit that man's jaw. Ah, oh, the man winch spitting the red liquid but Janko did not hold back his hand he keeps on doing it to the man like he was a sin bag uh, he will surely get you back uh, you will be finished Janko kept hitting him with his fist not caring about the hot crunches they came back to Hobi and Minhom is that deep? Jungkook asked, pointing Hobi's arm. Nah, it's fine. I was just careless. I did not see him using a knife. Hobi is trying not to show his sadness, but his best friend realized something is wrong. And Yungi said, Minho, get hurt too. Jungkook said, checking Minho, but he did not find any injury. say that Minho is hurt now enough talking about us ask that greatest actor who is trying to act normal Yungi pointed to Hobi ask who what what are you talking about Yungi Hobi asked with a nervous smile yeah what's the matter Hobi Jimin again Jungkook asked but Hobi didn't say anything so tell me tell us Jungkook asked tell what Hobi started smiling normally but stop it when everyone look at him seriously will you stop wasting the freaking time and start speaking baby Yungi spoke getting impatient as usual and everyone looked at Yungi with shock because of the word baby but they will teach Yungi later first they need to know what is wrong with 
Ruby, okay, okay, Ruby blushed and not wanted to embarrass himself more, so he said, not wanting to hide it anymore, or else God knows what will you get to. So, Ruby started explaining everything, explaining the thing that Jimmy let them escape. I lost him, he doesn't talk to me anymore, it's all my fault. Why did I act so stupidly? Jimin started scolding him safe and sat beside him with a hand on his shoulder trying to come for Jimin. At first, Sam did not get who Jimin was talking about but after listening to him for some time, Sam understand that Jimin is talking about his boss. Sam heard about his boss many times from Jimin. Jimin always complained about how stupid and childish his boss is. I have already guessed Jimin has something to for his boss but he always knows Jimin will never admit it but everyone who heard Jimin's word about his boss can tell that Jimin has a thing for his boss. Why don't you admit it him if you like him? Thayang said making Jimin eyes go wide. I, I don't like him. Jimin tried to lie but Thayang did not believe his words which was clearly not true. You can lie to me, it's okay but don't lie to your, your heart. Admit it before it's too late. Thayang spoke shocking Jimin. Thayang is always a little brother to Jimin. He never expected these wise words from Thayang. I tried to say but he doesn't talk to me anymore. Right? Jimin falls asleep on the couch after some hours of crying and Thayang comforting him. Thayang is just a pillow under Jimin's head and cover him with a blanket. He sits on the single couch not knowing what to do. Text unknown number. Baby, I want to. I went to the bookshop. They said you did not come today. Thayang knows who exactly the text is from but he decided to play a little. This unknown number, a secret lover. Thayong laughed when he saw Jungkook started playing along with him. Thayong surprised, but how did you get my number? Unknown, I have my wish. Thayong pretty unknown, when I have a date with me. Thayong too bad, I already have a boyfriend. Jungkook did not reply for a minute. Thayong started getting nervous and started calling himself for sending that message unknown number but I am much more handsome than him then laughed out loudly but quickly shut his mouth with his hand and look at Jimin to see if he is awake when he saw Jimin is still sleeping then sighed in relief and giggled once again looking at his phone this time silently then no I don't think it's true because my boyfriend is the hottest man ever to Thayang giggle at himself and no number hot Thayang so hot that I want to jump on him every time I see him kiss him and offer myself to him Thayang frowned when Jungkook did not reply at all after that ring they jump out of his seat and Looked straight on his on the ground as the phone he started ringing in his hand. His heart beat quick and when they saw it's from Jungkook a known number, his heart it started beating louder and louder. But every ring finally they pick up when the phone ringing stopped. Ringing non stop. 
hello they have spoke up and there is no sound from the other side they heard a deep sigh after some seconds either you are coming down stairs in a minute or i am coming up stairs and freak you at the place you are standing jungkook san so demanding don't sending she will through thanks to span thank you quickly took a glance at jimin and he spoke in the phone i am coming thank you spoke slowly one minute jungkook order and ended the call thank run outside jimin's condo not bothering to close the door behind he ran into the lift thank luck is it's empty the jump in the lift pressing the ground floor button hurry up the hang started at the lift 15th floor 14th floor 13th floor 12th floor what you got yourself into the 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 hang said to himself and heard the sound ground floor so everyone what do you think about the story and thanks a lot for your support and loving the story i hope you will love the episode i will see you again with the next episode till then take care bye bye bye